We will now talk about the lunar cycle. Our view of any of these cycles is always from an electrical perspective and that is what we focus on today. Before explaining how to reestablish this connection with the lunar cycle, let us explain why it is so important to do so. As we saw at the beginning, it is important to be in phase with our natural cycles in order to increase our bioenergetic metabolism. Yeah, being out of phase with this natural flow forces, among other things, an unnecessary expenditure of energy. The first concept to bear in mind when talking about the lunar cycle is the concept of lunations, which is nothing more than the time elapsed between two consecutive new moons. Yeah, during the lunation, the four phases of the moon occur. New moon, crescent, full moon and waning moon. This period has an average duration of 29.5 days, which, as we know, does not coincide with the Gregorian calendar. Speaking of the Gregorian calendar... Yes, about 500 years ago, we stopped using the calendar that followed the natural flow and instead began to adopt a commercial concept, a single language common to different countries, the Gregorian calendar. This calendar wrongly tried to adapt na nature to human needs and not the other way around. The connection to the lunar cycle and therefore to the solar cycle was lost. Right, Nuno? Yeah. My Jewish culture has a very interesting peculiarity. We have a lunar solar calendar. This means that it's based not only on the movements of the sun, but also of the moon. In this type of calendar, we try to harmonize the length of the solar here with the monthly cycles of the moon's periodic adjustments. This is why our new year never starts on the same day as the official calendar. Okay, very well. So, when talking about the lunar cycle, moon phases, etc., surely men have thought about the tides and how the moon affects them. And that is true, of course. There is one visual effect we get from the moon's influence on our planet. Mm -hmm. Gravity allows the kind of deformations to occur in water masses and the tidal movement. Yeah, but the question we are asking now is what happens inside our body? If about 70% of our body volume is made of water, what influence will the moon have on it? No, no. And the things happen in exactly the same way as with the tides. The moon causes movements of the water inside our body, and for movement, we need what? Electric current, of course. Yeah, it is important to realize that everything is connected, and this effect of the moon on our body produces a change in our electromagnetic field that varies throughout the lunar cycle, which can explain our mood swings, for example. Well, do you still remember the oxidation reduction acid alkaline graph? The lunar cycle, like the solar cycle, also brings with it the concept of oxidation reductions acid alkaline. So let's apply the lunar cycle and its four phases to this graph. Okay, so first of all, there is the new moon. And what is the new moon? Just as the name suggests, it is the new beginning, the start of a new cycle. At this point, our body is ready to begin an amazing journey. It is especially important to support the kidneys through supplements or frequencies, such as Gold Cycle Pure, in order to prepare them for the next phase. And the ascending phase is a very dynamic phase. The reduction phase is over, which means more energy to start projects. You can use the energy program from the gold cycle if you want to increase your skills and vitality. This is the phase when you are literally ready for war. <laughs> the full moon is the climax. It's the maximum peak that we reach. It's the ideal period for a full manifestation. It's the period when we have everything in our hands. We are kings. <laughs> We have the energy to express our intentions to the world and our affections are more expressive. 
As the past journey has been very demanding, it is time to give liver support through supplements or frequencies like the pure of the gold cycle again. So next comes the waning phase, which is the period of reduction, of slowing down, of putting your foot on the brake. It's a time of internalization and preparation. The mood lowers, it's the end of the oxidation phase and the body stops producing so much energy. Although it may not seem like it, it is the most important phase of all as it will determine our preparation at the moment of starting again and the whole cycle that follows. Well, now that you have all this information, take a photo of this incredible slide and try to understand your body, your emotions and feelings, your mood and energy according to the moon cycle. Understand if you are in the flow of this cosmic cycle and watch the next episodes to know how to reconnect. And thanks for watching. That's all. Thank you. Bye.